Welcome to question three of the 2022 paper one, Leave Insert Ordinary Level Maths. So as always, if you want a copy of the notes I'm working off, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And if you want access to more playlists, please click like and subscribe. Okay, so this question looks like we're dealing with tax. So it has Joe, Emily, or Mine, and Wei are all pay a y e workers. Now that stands for pay as you earn, which most workers are. Okay, um, teachers, you know, guards, whatever. So a pay a e worker will have their tax deducted uh, at source, okay, by the employer. Now each of them has an annual tax credit of three thousand three hundred. So we could record that tax credit, okay, uh, 3,300. What that means is whatever tax they owe, maybe it's 10,000, they don't have to pay 3,300 of that. So they'll only owe um, 6,700. That's basically all it means. Now it says their rate bands, um, so tax rates and bands are shown in the table below. So the person, if they, for the first 25,300 you earn, you pay tax at 20%. So one fifth of your money is given away in tax, and then you have to account for the tax credit. Anything you earn over that is taxed at 40%. They're making an assumption here that no other deductions are made from their income, which would be great. And there, there are other deductions in terms of PRSI, uh, USC um, from your pay. So they, they, can, they can be a fair whack of your, your pay. Uh, depending on the situation. Now, in this particular situation, Joe's gross annual income is 27,500. So that's his annual pay. Joe only pays tax at the low rate, which they don't really need to say because he doesn't earn over 35,300. So he's paying all his tax at 20%. So even without knowing what we're doing, okay, we could just find out what 20% of that is. And 20% is the same thing as 20 over 100, that's what a percentage is, which if you went decimal is 0 0.2. So we can multiply 27,500 by any of those numbers. And I'm just gonna bring up the calculator here and let's do it again here at 27,500. Let's program that properly, multiply by 20 and the percent button on my calculator is on the second function and it's here. And that gives me 5,500. Okay, so let's record that number. So 5,500, and that's what uh, Joe owes in tax. Now we have to remember that 3,300 of that, he doesn't have to pay. So we need to find out what that number is. So we take these two digits, we find the difference between them. Um, take small from big, zero from zero is zero, do it again. Three from five is two, and then three from five is two. So your man owes tax, okay, of 2,200, so 2,200, okay, yeah, 2,200. So it says then work out Joe's net annual income. So if he earns 27,500, has to pay the tax man, let's get rid of that, that's in the wrong place. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, and take away the 2,200. Now zero from zero is zero, zero from zero is zero, two from five is three, two from seven is five, and then the nothing from two is two. So he owes 25, or he gets 25,300 in pay. And that's your answer, okay? So in the notes, I have that done out, and with the same number, I've done that in kind of words, and these kind of questions are okay, in my opinion, but you have to read them carefully, and it's worth knowing, like how the, P-A-Y-E system works, because chances are um, you would become a P-A-Y-E worker um, in your career, unless you're self-employed or something. Okay, so understanding how your tax is calculated is you know, one of the things that maths would hopefully be able to give you the skills to complete. Now, part B, okay, and just to point out that part A was worth 10 marks, so that's a pretty good chunk of marks. And in part B, it's the same situation here, okay? And it says, um, Emily's gross annual income was 43,450. Work out Emily's net annual income. So straight away, even without knowing what I'm really doing, okay, I could go, well, look, she earns this much money, okay? So they pay tax at 20% on the first 30, 
5,300. So what's the difference in that? Okay, so if I subtract them, I get, I do the calculator, but maybe it's just as quick to do it this way. Um, so it's, she earns 8,150 more than this 35,300. So she pays 40% on that amount. Now it's not as much as, as the, the, the 27,500 okay, of Joe, but she's earning more, so she has to pay more tax. Now that's a calculator job. So that's, um, if I can recall what it is, 8,150 multiply by, now 40% is the same thing as 40 over 100. So I can do it that way instead. And I get 3,260, okay? And go across here, 3,260. Now we know that the 27,500, we did that for um, Joe, but we're more concerned now with the 35,300. How much is 20% of that, okay? Now, if I could use the calculator again, so that's 35,300 multiplied by, and I can go 0.2 is the same thing, okay? And that's 7,060. So the combined, okay, amount of tax that Emily owes, if I can add them together, and I might just show that as a separate calculation, okay? And 0, 0, 0, 6, and 6 is 12. 2 and 1 is 3, and 7 and 3 is 10. So she owes 10,320 tax. We still have to remember, she has a tax credit as well, okay? So we need to do that calculation. 10,320, take away 3,300. I should still have that number here. Actually, I don't. 10,320. Take away the 3,300, that gives me 7,020 euro. And that's how much tax she owes. Now the question is now, that's how much tax she owes, but not her net annual income, which is why reading the question carefully is, is important. So the final step here is, she earns 43,450, she pays 7,020 in tax. And the question now is, what's that number? So I was going to remember the answer. So 43,450, take away now the previous answer, okay, it was 7,020. And we get 36,000, I think it was 430, 430. And that's the net income. It's right over here, net income. Now always give a box of whatever you want to do and make it stand out. Now my work is not the neatest, but first calculation is finding out how much um, of our earnings will be charged at 40%. That's your low partial, okay, your three marks right there on top. Then I worked out how much tax is that? Okay, she owes 40% of that and I got the 3,260. Then we went, well look, she does owe 20% of her income up to that point, which we have to remember was the 35,300. And I got 20% of that. Once I had those two numbers, I could add them together to get the total amount of tax she owes, and that was over here, okay? Then I went, well, she doesn't actually owe all that. She has the tax credit, so I need to account for that, and I did. And then we're looking for not her, her tax owed, but her actual net income. So we have to take the tax owed from her total income, and we get her net income. So multi-step question, but you should always be aiming for the low partial if possible, okay, at the very, very least. So any calculation involving the numbers that's relevant will get you that, okay? Even just having got 35,300 by 20%, this calculation here in the middle would have done the job. Now in the notes, I have that done out in just text, but it's, it's basically the same thing, maybe just reordered. Now part uh, C here, and we're usually gonna get harder and harder as each part goes on, but it says Way's gross annual income is over 35,300. So she pays tax at both rates, okay? Way is looking for a pay rise. She wants her net income to increase by 80 euros each month, okay? Work out how much her gross annual income will need to increase by in order for this to happen. So super tricky question. I know for myself, if I don't read this question multiple times, I'm gonna mess it up, okay? 
okay? And it's a flaw of my own thinking. I often just jump in and start trying stuff. And sometimes a bit of thought in advance, maybe read the question again and go over it more carefully. So let's, let's read it again, okay? So the gross annual income is over 35,300. So she pays tax at both rates. Okay, it's fair enough. Um, wants a pay rise, fair enough. She wants her net income to increase by 80 euros per month. So straight away, I want to look for a calculation. So they want the net income, okay, to increase by 80 for the 12 months so she can get the gross annual income. So I can do that calculation. And that is, I think it's 960 euro. Now the question is, if they want their pay to go up by 80 euro per month into their hand, how much do they have to earn in order to get that much? Because whatever they earn will be taxed. So in a sense, what amount, okay, multiplied by um, their tax. Now we know they're, they're paying tax at boat rates, so she's now into the, the 40%. So whatever she earns, okay, uh, for he, 40% is going to be taken by the tax man. So this amount, we're, we only know, if you try to get 40% of that, you don't know what that 40% is, okay? So if it's a try that strategy is equal to what? We, we don't know, okay? But what we do know, let me just clear that off, okay? We do know that 60% of what she earns, or he earns, okay, um, is going to equal the 960. Now that's a fairly tricky piece of logic. And just worth taking a few seconds to think, think it through. They are paying tax of 40%, so they only get 60% of what they earn. So some amount by 60% equals 80 by 12, which is, which is what they wanted. Okay, so how much do they need to ask for as a rise to achieve that 960 into their hand? Now, this is a percentage, sorry, 60%. So we can do this different ways, but this is the same thing as if you want to get rid of an algebraically. If I divide this by 60%, I'm going to achieve that. Now, if I do it to one side, I have to do it to both. So X is equal to 960 divided by 60%. And we do that by hand, and no harm for the practice, okay? 60% is 60 over 100. Now, this is a number divided by a fraction, and the, one of the easier ways to do that is to turn the top number into a fraction and then divide it by the fraction below. And this is a fraction divided by a fraction. And the methodology here is you take the bottom fraction and turn it upside down, or 60, and you multiply that by the top fraction. Now, the zeros will cancel there, they'll cancel. Uh, you're left with 9,600 over six. I do it by hand, okay. Um, I can simplify it down if I want. I could go three into this goes twice. Three into the top goes three, two, zero, zero. I'm looking for half that, okay, which would be, I think, 1,600. So Wei needs to ask for 1,600 more money from his employer in order to realize 960 in tax, or in, in earnings, okay? That's what they wanted because they had a requirement that they um, wanted to increase their pay by 80 euros per month. And I've just realized I've been misgendering Wei, who is apparently female. So that's that. Um, it's a tricky question. I have it done out here in the notes, okay? Um, and, I've, and I've got the low partial here by doing that calculation. As long as you understand what's being asked, okay, at least do that. And then the tricky bit of some amount by 60%, what they will get after tax is equal to the 960. And then just do the algebra. Okay, if you're multiplying on the left, you can divide on the right, whatever way you want to do that. That's a calculator job. Now I did it by hand, but it's, I, would, I would do the calculator. And I got the 1600. And that's the answer. Okay, so I don't know if there's a part D here. There's not, okay. so. As always, if you want to copy the notes, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. And if you like and subscribe, you'll get access to the other playlists. Thanks very much and see you on question four.